if I came to you and I said, you know, since I know your background and I'm comfortable with you and I want to get a tattoo, what would you need to know? What would I need to know from you? I would need to know at least how old you are, how much money you got, and how much you want to spend, and pretty much your what kind of art form you're looking for because everybody has different ideas so most generally people have something in their head when they get here and then they usually want to tell you that so just not come in here and want a piercing and a tattoo and not know what it's about right just come in here right well, then some people walk through and pick out stuff off the wall but that's not very common nowadays um tattoos they're permanent right pretty much you can have them lasered off really very expensive painful very painful what does a tattoo consist of? I mean, is it just some special ink that people have, or? It's, I can't go into the ink, because it's been around for a long time. Um, it's dyes that go into your skin and for some reason stay for long periods of time, 10, 15, 20 years and longer. But why is it so expensive nowadays that, you know, to get a tattoo, it's costing a lot more? That is a very good question. Um, because a tattoo itself probably doesn't consist more of three or four dollars in materials. So, I mean, you got your sterilization, you got your new needles and clean up, and, but that's still we added it all up. It still doesn't add up to be very much money. So it's all labor and technique. And if you're going to sit there and spend an hour on someone, um, which is, yeah, you know, you're paying for the time. And the, and the man's skill, or the woman's skill, and it's usually roughly $100 an hour. Um, they're, they're, the price at different shops is so up and down um, that it's, some people take advantage of this. The new person comes in, never been in a tattoo shop, doesn't have any idea what they cost, have a lot, have money in their pocket, and they just they'll spend it all, not knowing that the minimum was only fifty or sixty, and you know it's, it's just an ignorant thing, you know. Now, what if someone walked into a shop, they didn't know anything about the tattoo artist? Is it okay for people to come in and ask questions? Oh yeah. yeah, I prefer it. Definitely. I want them to know what they're getting. You know, I'll, I'll sit and talk to them for an hour if I have to. <laughs> now, what do you like better, tattoos or piercings? I got into piercing a long time ago. Um, a friend of mine brought it in and he said, you need to do this because this is the future. And I said, no, it ain't. No, no, it ain't. He <laughs> says, oh, yes, it is. It's in San Francisco and it's going to be here. It's going to be everywhere. And he was right. Yeah. So I basically got into that for the money. I Poking holes in people I don't really enjoy as much as doing artwork. Now, tell us. I mean, there's people that are probably sitting at home going, you know, tattooing. Is it dangerous? Is it, you know, it's permanent, there's diseases out there from needles, yeah. I mean. Um, Should they work? When I started, it's changed drastically. The worst you could get back then would be hepatitis. And now we have so many diseases out there, that <laughs> I can't count them all. Okay, when I started, we didn't even wear gloves. You know, 20 years ago, nobody wore gloves. And you could go to a fair and tattoo, a bike run, tattoo outdoors and you won't hardly see any of that anymore it's all indoors there's it's very um, bacteria acceptable the air who's touching it um, what's around the, the, the counters um, it, so now we're way more cautious I uh, to my knowledge I don't know of anyone that's been through here that's got anything uh, we've had maybe some swelling or, and, and, you know, basic infection that's very easy to change with um, antibiotics, but nothing that I know no one's died, I don't think. <laughs> I think somebody would come back and say, hey, you killed my son, you know, with this tattoo, and nothing like that's ever happened, so. How do you get, how do you get to be a tattoo artist yeah. nowadays? Um, huh? There's not really a college. It's more like... Uh, on a job training thing, um, you're not gonna walk into a tattoo shop and say, hey, um, I wanna learn a tattoo. And they're gonna probably 
kick you in, and, you know, and go. You're gonna get kicked out of there because they, 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 so much that comes through. Everybody wants to be a tattoo artist now. All these people, all these kids want to be tattoo artists. They, you know, their mom and dad dump money into them in college, and, and you know they'll throw it all away to be a tattoo artist. It's just, it's, it's a good life money-wise, but it's very, um, it's a low-stress job. It's a fun job, but it has its moments. Okay. So um, not everyone, just because they can draw, can walk in and, sit and turn into a tattoo artist. You have to be good with people. You have to be able to draw on skin. Um, you have to be a person, a people person, because you're not just going to sit here and make money because it won't walk up to you and bite you. It has to be, hey, what do you want? I have to draw this for you, change this, modify that. And unless you know somebody in the business, you're probably not going to get into the business. So my sons will learn to tattoo, and I, I taught my oldest son. I'm, um, that's the way it's handed in. So I have trained a lot. Almost everybody in this area started here at one time, or been through here at one time. Napa, Fairfield, um, Oh, where else? Uh, Davis, Woodland. Some of these artists have spread that far. So, but it's been fun. We've had a lot. Of, it's been crazy here before. Real crazy, yeah. Because they're all younger generation kids. And I had like four or five apprentices at once. And they had their friends and they all played in rock bands. Jason Jensen, you know, uh, all them, the crew that come with them. And they just, a tattoo shop was a good place to hang out. Cause look at the chicks, man, you know, and, 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 and the artwork, and it's just cool. So. What if someone has a tattoo already? They're in their older age, they got a tattoo 10 years ago, and it's starting to fade. Can they come in and get it retouched up the same oh, yeah. exact way? Yeah, exactly. exactly the same way. But we try to go beyond that and add a little more to it, put a little bit of, um, you know, update it, upgrade it, in shading techniques and things like that. Any last words to any of your friends that are watching? Uh, any of my friends that are watching? Yeah, I'm moving to Spokane. If you want a tattoo, come up there. Uh, I know it's a long ways. Uh, I might be old and crippled by then, and if I am, these two will be doing it. Kyle and Cody, and they'll be taking over. Sounds good. S second generation. I like your shirt. Been Where'd you get it? Show. Where'd you get it? Ready. Oh. How'd you like that clip? Quite interesting stuff about tattooing, right? Maybe you thought twice about getting a tattoo? Or maybe I convinced you even more? But watch this next clip on the Vinnie Langdon Show. It's all about race car driving.